Hi, my name is George Garcia. This is Guided Tour of Eagle, video number six, Placing Parts. So, now that we have our board generated, we can start to place components into our work area. When you first jump from schematic to board, you're going to notice that all of your components are placed on the left side of the screen, and you have a rectangle on the right side of the screen. In size-limited versions, this rectangle represents the limits of your work area. Copper components are only allowed outside of the work area at the first time that they come from schematic to board. Okay, so if you have a lot of components and it's going to be a very dense design, it's preferable to just bring in parts into the work area as you need them, because otherwise you won't be able to get them out, which will create extra clutter that may be difficult to arrange components. Um, if you don't have a size limited version, then it really doesn't matter. So moving components is done very simply using the move command. Click on the move command. We select the part we wish to move. If we right click, we'll be rotating the part in 90 degree increments. Okay. If we take a part, for example, and we want to place it on the bottom of the board, if we mirror it by clicking our scroll wheel, on surface mount components it's very easy to see that the pads change and the text reverses indicating that it's mounted on the bottom okay so this is how we move and we mirror components okay we move them right clicking rotates them clicking the scroll wheel in the center mounts them to the bottom okay and you'll see the text reverses the same thing will happen with through hole parts it's just not as obvious with through hole parts you'll be able to tell because the text will reverse but the pads won't change See. now what happens if we want to move a group of parts well the procedure for acting on a group is always the same first using the group command we select the items that we wish to move together let's say these four LEDs here Okay, draw a marquee around them by left clicking and holding it down once we let go we'll see that those four LEDs are chosen now we select the operation that we want to perform on the group now the last command we had active before the group operation was move so you'll see that it becomes uh, the active command once again so if the action you want to perform has already been selected you don't have to select it again if it isn't the action that's selected then you want to left click to select the action to perform so this is we want to move now someone within the group just hold down the control key and right click this will allow you to move the group Alternatively, you can right-click on any member of the group and you're going to see the option Move to Group because the Move operation is still active. Okay, and we can move it again. So this is, these are the basics of moving components. This has been Guided Tour of Eagle, video number 6, Placing Parts. Thank you very much and have a great day.